everybody, this is Roger Hansen coming to you with my review for the Nighthawk Hexacopter Drone with Wi-Fi camera. My brother did an unbox for this item and uh, after he did that I took it out and I did tests on it and checked it out for my review and before I get started I do want to say that during this video I will show um, video footage from the camera to show what kind of uh, footage it gets when we uh, went to test it <clears throat> this is the box by the way I just wanted to show that but uh when we went to go do the test and everything and put actually let me get started with putting it together I went and I put it together and I was actually okay with how it was constructed because on one of the drones before I'd mentioned about these screws right here and uh, down here on one of the drones they didn't have screws inside of here now like right here you can see it where when it landed it actually made the leg pop out a little bit and it's kind of slanted but that can be fixed but that's what happens when these drones land and uh, I uh, went and uh, screwed them in and everything and sure enough they tried to come off but the screws actually held the legs in place and it didn't cause much damage now on these I had an incident where one of them kind of curled up and the propeller was hitting it but I, it was adjustable or it adjusted out of the way and it hadn't done anything I do want to mention though that it seems like it has a lean to the right I would say or, or to the left I believe it's to the left actually and uh, the propellers I still have to work on doing the adjusting but I've yet been able to adjust it to where it doesn't do that every time I've tried to fly these things they, they always go up and to the left um, but when it comes to the crash part I'm fine with this one it actually did pretty good and uh, that gets me to the controller okay I'm fine with the way this was built it's alright I like it um, the controller this is the controller and I had another controller that was like this one too but this one was crazy because it has this little adapter and when you go to try to put the adapter on it doesn't even fit up um, on the unboxing my brother tried to actually do this and it fell off on him but it doesn't even match up I thought that was messed up but this thing is pretty much useless it won't even hook up to it won't even hook up to the controller so that's a down for me now I tested this with both the controller and with the the uh, iPad iPad which by the way I haven't yet to see any of these reviews that mentions that they always talk about the iPhone app or the app working on the iPhone but this uh, drone also does work on the I iPad minis I've been using it to fly it and it works fine um, but with this controller what I had an issue with was whenever I turned it on and I tried to take off every time I tried to turn to the right it wouldn't turn to the right um, when I used the iPad with it it worked perfectly fine but the controller you just cannot turn it to the right to navigate and that makes the second controller that I've dealt with when it comes to these drones from China that has the issue with bad controllers but <laughs> that right there is one of the issues I had with this other than that I have no issues with it whatsoever now, this is the plug-in I uh, 
did use this for charging the batteries I have no problem with the plug-in but I'm going to tell you one thing though about that battery on here when you go to charge it up it heats up quite a bit when you take it off the uh, the freaking charger it's hot it's really hot now I, that's one thing that I do have a problem with um, there's a, a lot of heat on it it's probably from using the camera and from using the controller or the iPad to control but I did notice that um, I will have video on the general flying and the way the camera works the another thing that I have a problem with when it comes to just drones in general is they only have eight minutes of flight time so uh, at first we got the camera because we wanted to get video footage and then we found out that it has only eight minutes of flight time so you're gonna to have to have extra batteries and you're still only going to get at least eight minutes of video each clip but uh, that was one of the issues that I had there too okay so right here it's getting ready to take off and it's only a short video but it, it's pretty good when it comes to flying and you do get good footage in the air but like I said you only get about eight minutes worth of it um, I stopped it because I'm not really great at flying and I ended up crashing it into the dirt and right here is with me just carrying it around you'll see the it does have a difference in video footage but I mean it's still all right you know it's not decent or excellent but you you get a clean you know video of it and everything so I'm okay with the video when it comes to taking video and like I said I'll more likely end up doing this just walking around with the, the drone and using it with my iPad so that I can get straight views and be able to see what I'm aiming at with the camera. I, I don't have any problem with the video other than the fact that it's not like state-of-the-art video footage. It's just the, the, the amount of footage that you can get each time and that you need backup batteries and that that goes with all drones I uh, the thing of it is is that camera it doesn't come with audio either and I doubt if any video for drones comes with audio but that was a uh, one issue that I had because it's hard syncing up video with audio if you're talking into the camera and you want it to sync up and uh, that's an issue that I have because I'm trying to get audio and video for my videos. What I do is I just take it most of the time. I don't even fly it. I just use it for the camera. And it works out fine that way. It lasts longer. But to be honest with you, I, I don't even see a purpose in flying it because you only fly it for eight minutes. And I, I do that to test, you know, to work on my flight. But other than that, I don't use it for anything other than that so with this one on the control or on the app I uh, actually use the app and uh, I heard comments in the apps uh, comment section and it's really really bad I'm not gonna say that it's bad because from my experience it's a lot better using the app than what it is the actual controller um, the controller sucked basically but the app actually I could turn right and I could navigate and go where I wanted to the issue that I did have with the app though is that it does freeze up and sometimes it just stops and I mean I, I only have eight minutes of flight time anyhow so the only thing I could see that would be bad about that is if it's in the air and the app just decides to stop out of nowhere that would really cause some issues but that hasn't happened to me yet. Um, I all I do is I turn off the freaking uh, drone and then I turn off the the app and restart it and it's right back to normal. So the app I don't have a problem with other than those issues. Um, but for me, I would have to say that it's better than the other uh, drone that we got 
but it still has its issues so I'm not going to give it an up or down it'll be kind of like what I usually do I'm not going to vote on it I'm just going to give my review um, and that's what I found with the Nighthawk Hexacopter drone with Wi-Fi cameras and with that uh, if you like what you heard like subscribe and share thank you for watching